Welcome back. It's been a very busy week. I just thought I'd bring you up to date. Uh, started off the week signing two bills, one around making our IG independent. Uh, worked with Councilman Dorsey, very similar to our legislation, as well as uh, Councilman Burnett's uh, legislation for uh, public financing for elections. And then went on to uh, visit Youth Works. There's a cater, uh, Martin's West Caterer, has about 75 young people who work there doing a Youth Works program. Really cold, but at the same time, they're preparing meals for like 9,000 young people across the city so that's their summer employment and then I had a roundtable on Tuesday with the um, university presidents uh, right here in Baltimore really great discussion around how we can continue to collaborate and work together and then the National Organization of Minorities in Transportation we're here in Baltimore gave our own Michelle Pichu an award uh, but I also got a, got a chance to speak along with Congressman Cummings and then uh, I went to our weekly off-site visit. Uh, we walked in the neighborhood of Greenmount Avenue, uh, the Violence Reduction Initiative, along with the police commissioner and others, looking at many of the activities that are taking place there. Wonderful community leaders over there who walked with us, uh, got to see some of their restoring efforts over there. Uh, and also uh, just a great conversation uh, with some of the businesses and so forth. It was a great walk. And then on Wednesday, uh, TBT, uh, the big championship, which is uh, coming to Baltimore, uh, held a press conference and we talked about all the things that they were going to be doing. Uh, we also announced our back to school rally among other things and talked a little bit about our SNAP program uh, that we were able to extend and uh, remind the people of the back to school rally that took place uh, this week as well. And then also announced again that we hope to see everybody at the African American Heritage Festival uh, this weekend. So very excited about that. We had a really important meeting around our squeegee young people how to work with them. We've been working to get them jobs, so I want to thank uh, the folks in the mayor's office, uh, Kwame and Rick, who've been working with those young people to get them off the street. But this conversation was about how we create more entrepreneurship programs for the young people and job opportunities. So we're looking forward to continuing to work with the business community on that. And then I had an opportunity to welcome one of the mayors of Liberia uh, who came to City Hall to develop our relationship, expanded relationship. And then I also attended the Poe Homes uh, neighborhood uh, we call them our back to school well this one wasn't exactly a back to school rally but we have our block parties our summer youth block parties where you get to see many of the young people uh, act out their various talents so that was fun to go by and uh, then there was a reception for TBT uh, at Morgan State University I attended that as well and then I had an opportunity on MSNBC to talk about the Affordable Care Act and how the Trump administration was not doing enough to promote the Affordable Care Act. I mean, what's the basis on which you and your fellow mayors are uh, launching this suit? Uh, we're launching it because when you pass a law, the president has the power to enforce the law. And by not enforcing the law and changing the law and coming up with this short-term health care plan, what we're going to find is more people un covered. And just for example, last year in, in Baltimore, just through the efforts that the Trump administration has undergone thus far, the, our fire department had to respond to 17,000 individuals who did not have health care. That's a problem for all of our cities and all of our states and this country. We in Baltimore uh, want to continue to take care of people and we believe that the Trump administration is not doing the right thing. And so after that, I went on to uh, the following day uh, to participate in the basketball tournament. It was here, it was here in Baltimore. Very exciting TBT. Packed it out at Morgan State University. Uh, was really exciting to watch. And then I went on to uh, visit the Bloomberg Arts uh, Internship Program. Uh, we had young people, I think about 35 young people across the city who participated in that program. It was really just a great program. And again, uh, back at TBT that evening at Morgan State University, I got a chance to hold a $2 million check on Saturday, July the 4th. Uh, the ceasefire parade took place in um, Park Heights, uh, so we were excited about that. Uh, that was actually August the 4th in Park Heights. A very, very uh, great turnout by the people up in the Park Heights community and the ceasefire group. We're always thankful to Erica Bridgeport for organizing that effort. Police Department and uh, communities uh, participated as well. It was just a really great turnout. And then uh, again on Saturday we had our back to school rally. We gave out over 3,200 backpacks, 3,200 backpacks. 
and we'll be distributing those that were left over to uh, some of our city uh, folks who want to help with making sure that our children are accommodated and have the supplies they need as it relates to uh, getting back to school. And then uh, we went on to, um, on Saturday, we went to the farmer's market and at the farmer's market we received a citation, a proclamation from the secretary uh, declaring it Farmer's Week. I pointed out the need for us to continue our SNAP benefits and then I also got the chance to participate in a workshop for our young people. They participated, young ladies, all dressed in pink, not really, uh, but young uh, ladies who are participating in fire uh, training. Uh, hopefully they will decide that this is a career that they want to engage in, but it was really exciting to see uh, the two-day camp for young girls. And then I uh, ended the week on Sunday evening uh, at Dante Hickman's. It's now Bishop Dante Hickman uh, Affirmation Service. It was actually a re uh, enactment of the service that took place in North Carolina where he was named a bishop for uh, the church community and so I want to say to him again we're very proud of your work uh, this is an individual who is really engaged in our community helping to grow and expand East Baltimore uh, not just inside the walls of the church but in the community God bless you thank you see you all next time